Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan, and this is Doris with a D. Hi. Welcome Hello. back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk to you about Norman's Tavern, located in North Miami Beach. So, tell everybody how you heard about this place. How did I hear about this? Um, okay, um, a lifelong friend, Leroy, um, had been mentioning this place to us for about two years. Um, <laughs> we're just never in the area. But um, on this occasion, we were staying at the Solara uh, Resort mm -hmm. in Surfside, I believe, which is like right down the block. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took a lift over to check it out. Yeah, it was about a two-mile yeah. ride, but it was hot. Yeah. Was and hot. humid. <laughs> yeah, so we took a lift up there. And um, yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. It was absolutely excellent. So what was your first impression in seating? First impression? There. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, First impression is I really liked um, how we were greeted. As soon as we got there, uh, George was at the door, mm -hmm. um, offered us seating outside, inside, at the bar. Um, pretty much, you know, very hospitable, very hospitable. Mm -hmm. So what about the menu options and variety? Menu options and variety. Okay, menu options. Uh, this is a, a very American comfort food, I would say. Okay. Um, a little variety, a little bit of everything. Uh, sandwiches, burgers, steaks, um, just a well-rounded basic menu. Mm -hmm. And the variety comes in where you can play pool there? Or oh yeah, it's it's a fun place. I mean, there's TVs all around. I think they were getting ready for a soccer game. Yeah, soccer They, they were doing a watch party. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, two pool tables there, dartboard, a uh, full bar. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a fun place. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So what about the drinks and service? Drinks and service. Right. Service was awesome. We had, I guess, said George. I guess he was the host or manager, mm -hmm. but we happened to have him. Mm -hmm. um, drinks. I think uh, you had. What did you have? A guava rica with Don Julio uh, um, tequila. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, as usual, was undecided. Um, George asked me, you know, what do you like drink wise? Sweet, sour. You know, we went through the whole thing, and he said he's going to make me something with uh, illegal Mexical. I believe it's called. That's right. And I said, yeah, go ahead. So um, he, <laughs> so he made it, um, and it was delicious. Uh, so much so that I had two. Um, so whatever that was, oh, I asked him what the name was, and he said he didn't have a name because he just made the drink up. So whatever it was, find a name, get that on the menu, because that was really good. Dynamite. <laughs> yeah. So, what about the food and presentation? Food and presentation. Okay, so um, I think appetizer we had the fried calamar, mm -hmm. which was you know fried to a perfect golden crisp, right? Uh, tender on the inside, just delicious. Nice size portion. Um, you had the black and mahi mm -hmm. with mashed potatoes and uh, gravy from heaven. Is that what you called it? That's exactly what I called it. Yeah, it was a uh, fresh made mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and really good uh, gravy on it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did the, uh, the the skirt steak, which Leroy had recommended. And Leroy, you hit it on the head. <laughs> it was and, delicious. And dessert? Dessert. We weren't going to have dessert. And then George suggested their creme brulee. He was very proud of their creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, creme brulee is a hit or a miss. Yes, it has to be thick, creamy, and crunchy. And this one was <laughs> thick, creamy, and crunchy. Um, you could have ten creme brulee in ten different places. It's going to be ten different ways. Right. We've had it where it was the consistency of cheesecake, and we've had it where you could almost drink it. So this was perfect. So true. Oh my goodness. So what is your overall impression? Overall impression. Uh, this is a great place to unwind. Um, if you're a local, this is a great place to finish your week. Um, if you're here on vacation. It's a great spot. Your first night after you're settled in, go down there, have yourself a nice dinner, relax. Uh, it'll help set your compass, <laughs> you know, really. It really is. I mean, I wish we had a place like that local. Yeah, it helped us. Yeah. <laughs> so what are your recommendations and cost? Recommendations. All right. So like I said, Leroy was I hit it right on the head. Yes, that skirt steak was awesome. The, the, the black and mahi, awesome. So... Me, I'm going to recommend a skirt steak because that's what I had. Uh, price point, uh, what do you think about the price point? 
I think it's excellent for the neighborhood. It is. It, it is very reasonable for the neighborhood, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like I said, I wish we had a place like that here. <laughs> for sure. So, do you have anything you want to add? Um, just uh, let them know that your friends at SoFlo Dining sent you. <laughs> Absolutely. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yep. And we want to thank you for your loyalty. We do appreciate you. And thank you for appreciating us. Yes. And as always, enjoy. And we'll see you there. Bye. Don't forget, subscribe and hashtag SoFlo Dining. You'll find us everywhere. So take care. Bye.